hello guys welcome to the channel i hope you all guys are fine and doing great today we are going to discuss this minimum number of flips to make binary grid palindromic two problem of lead code contest i am able to solve all the four problems and i will make tutorial for task two okay guys so this is the tutorial of this third one problem my current rank is around 210 but it is not updated yet okay so let's move on to the problem statement guys so first of all we are given a m into n binary matrix uh, matrix grid now we will consider a row or column as palindromic if it will gonna read from same as backward and forward okay as a palindrome like okay now i can flip any number of cells in a grid either from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 means we are given a binary matrix means and i can change any value from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1 okay guys now i need to find out what is the minimum number of cells that i need to flip means the minimum number of operation of this type i need to do to make all the rows and column palindromic and there is one more condition along with all rows and column being palindromic number of one in my uh, matrix should be divisible by four okay guys so how to gonna solve it now let's look at here now first of all we will try out like how can we solve it if you are so, uh, thinking like I will try to make all rows, all column palindromic, it will give you a hard time. Okay, you will not easily able to go to it. I am telling you my solution, like how I am solving this particular problem. Suppose this is the matrix I have. Now guys, just look carefully at one thing. For this particular cell, this particular cell should be equal to this particular cell for to make this row palindromic this and this cell should be equal to make this column palindromic this cell and this cell should be equal along with same to make this row palindromic this cell and this cell should be equal to make this column palindromic this cell and this cell should be equal so in other words i can say these four cells should be equal means either they all should be zero or either say or either they all should be one because this is uh, dependent on this and this this is dependent on this and this this is dependent on this and this this is dependent on this and this so therefore dependent on each other if one's value change you need to change all the remaining three values okay guys means we have these four cell dependent now look for other cell this particular depend on this this particular depend on uh, okay i will gonna change the color now for this cell this and this should be same this and this should be same these two four rows to make this row palindromic these two four column to make this column palindromic same with this to make this column palindromic so these four are same so these four also either should be zero either should be one now for this particular cell wise <coughs> this is the important thing this cell should be equal to this cell so i here we don't have pair of four cell here we have pair of only two cells because here in my row this is common cell this is the cell head cell so either these two should be zero or these two should be one similarly for this 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 and this are same one more four pair this 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 and this are same now again this and this will give me a pair of two now look here now now look here <coughs> this and this will be same this will for a row because in column these particular are a bit again one more two pair this and this again more two pair now this this is common in column common in row so this will give me a pair of one cell this either should be zero pair of one means this one cell is independent uh, is independent it can it can be zero it can be one because this is not pair up with any other it is an independent entity this is depend on this this is paired with this paired with this paired with this paired with this like this okay but this is not so here whatever condition we will make uh, we will go to three type of pair one pair that is dependent on only single cell that is dependent on only two cell that is dependent on only four cell four cell for even uh, for even like when we have some even number of rows this is for the mid column or either when we have uh, we will go to a pair of two when we have odd number of rows or column this one is the center when we have odd number of column odd number of rows okay guys so basically so how can i proceed with this so from this information from this information i will gonna create a create a array of type pairs of type pairs where first entity and second entity i will have to <coughs> so 
sorry i am not completely uh, fully fit i have cough uh, okay so please okay so first entity is the number of element in my pair number of element in my pair like four two one like number of pair means how many number of element that are dependent on each other like one two three four these are four one two three four four for this this is one so it can be four comma something one comma something two comma something two this for two this is for two okay like this now what is this this is the number of ones in this particular pair in this particular pair like if i am taking an example this 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 and this like these corner rows this one this one that if i can take eraser yeah it's nice suppose value of this is one zero one one now it will second entity will store number of number of ones in this particular set of pair number of ones in this particular set of pair so what should be the value what should be the pair value for this particular four pair four four is number of element we have four element that are dependent on each other and we have three ones among them we have three ones among them so this four comma three is the pair that will gives me information that i have four set of element that are dependent on each other and among we among these four i have three element whose value is one now suppose it is one it is zero these two are dependent on each other so one pair i will have number of element is two number of one i have is one this is zero this is one if this is one it will be number of element this is dependent on uh, it's only so one comma one if it is one it will be one comma zero if this value is zero this value is zero or one okay so i will have a complete matrix so a complete vector of pair of this type now guys i know i have a pair where i have some value a1 comma b1 like ai comma bi i should name it ai comma bi <clears throat> i have a vector of this type of value now from 0 to n nx nx is the new size because n is the initial n into row n into m column i am taking and nx is the new size of uh, pair i will have because some pair is of 2 some of 4 uh, some of 1 okay all a i j now i need to find out how i set all up so that i will got oh, uh, number of ones that are divisible by 4 okay guys so what if we uh, what if we look clearly i can use a particular solution here but for this particular pair i have two choices for each pair i will have two choices but i can convert all the number ais into zero i can convert all the number ais into one if i am converting uh, all the number of zero it can be a possible solution because these all ai number uh, element dependent on each other i am converting all of them to zero i am converting all of uh, uh, all of them to one so here are you getting the sense of dp like i have some uh, i have some n number of element and i have two choices i have two choices but i have two choices now how my dp will, uh, will look like i am currently at here currently at this particular pair and my previous remainder is what is my previous remainder now see look clearly what i need i need my number of uh, one should be divisible by 4 should be divisible by 4 so suppose if i currently have 1 2 12 number of ones so how many uh, not 12 suppose 14 number of ones i have before this particular index so how many number of 4 i have in extra only two because the 12 4 will gonna cancel out with each other 12 4 is already divided by 4 so i have only two extra 4 so either i need to remove them either i need to make two more number to now uh, 4 okay like this so i am currently at this particular index with before it i have either zero number of 4 one number of 4 Two number of four or three number of four because if I have four number of four, it I, it means I have zero number of four because four is divisible by four. Okay, guys. Now I can do some operation like either convert all of them to zero, all of them to one, and then look like two other operation. Okay, sorry, my screen just lagged. That's why I stop. so i can do some number of operation okay guys so this is the basic step this is the basic stru uh, structure of my approach this is a basic logic 
behind like how I will gonna make the complete solution. Now, this became very simple. If I am currently having remainder remain and I am at currently at position I, currently uh, remainder I have is REM. This is, I am naming it uh, remainder REM. I am currently at index I with previous remainder as REM. Now, for current I have some AI element among which B of I is 1, B of I is 1. Now, if I am converting all of, uh, all of them to 0, what will be the cost I will have? I need to convert all the BIs into 0. So, I need to change BI number plus I will go now make a call to I plus 1. Now, my remainder will change? No, because I am making all AI 0. So, remainder will not gonna change. I am not adding 1. Now, if I am converting all of them to 1, how many number uh, of operation I need to perform? I have total element. I have AI. So I need to convert all AI into one, but my B of I element is already one means if I have pair four comma three means I need to convert all four number into one, but I already have uh, already have three ones. So how many number of uh, element I need to change four minus three AI minus BI plus I plus one to next index. Now remainder will gonna change. What will be the final remainder? Remainder plus AI because AI uh, uh, AI number of uh, ones I am adding. I am I make all the AI number to one. So my total number of one will be previous remainder one plus A of I. I will gonna modulo this with four. Modulo this with four. Okay. And the minimum of these two will be my answer. Okay, it's the minimum of these two will be my answer. Okay. Uh, okay, so what I need, I need a DP array. I need a DP array of n into 4 size because my remainder n is the uh, nx. nx is the number of element in my P array and 4 is the remainder like 0, 1, 2, 3 I, I can have. Now, this is the basic approach. Get back to code now. Okay, this is the code. This is the line to reduce time complexity. I don't want to take any risk. That's why I add this. Now, n is the number of rows. M is the number of columns. Now, this vector visited I create, but I never use it. So, you can ignore this. You can ignore these two lines. I never uh, use them. I just change my logic, how I am traversing my columns and row. Now, see guys, this is the main thing where I am creating my pairs. <coughs> Let me just copy paste this. I am creating video and my laptop start hanging. I don't know why. Why this is happening. Very irritating this is for you and for me as well. But please continue with this. I cannot do anything in midway. Okay, guys. See, uh, this is my uh, first row. This is the row that is equivalent to this. Means this is the row where I, I will gonna match these two. Uh, these two rows elements should be match if I am making up here. Like from starting, if I can say what I am saying. This, this is my first index A. This is my B. This is my L, this is my R. Because these two elements should be matched, these two rows should be matched. And I need to traverse just half of part of the matrix. Because if I have part this, this half part of the matrix, if I traverse this, if I access this, I will access these three as well. From this, I will access remaining three. Okay. If I am continue, if I am uh, accessing, it means I am traversing any one cell of my this four cell, I will gonna traverse all the four cell. That's the logic or that's the approach I use to code it now this is my above row below row 0 to n minus 1 till my a less than equal to b why I am using equal to because some pair of 2 some pair of 1 I will have when I have only a single row when I have odd number of rows each <coughs> iteration a plus plus b minus minus this is for column starting column ending column till my uh, head column l plus plus r minus minus this is a basic approach if you are solving this problem you should know how I am 
using these four modes. If you have any confusion, you can just simply uh, write down on pen paper. Okay, I have explained this. The starting row is stri uh, starting row, ending row, starting column, ending column. These two number are should be equal. These two number should be equal. That's why. So you can ignore this. I am using a set. Why I am using a set? Because there are sometimes when a is equal to b. So this a, this al will and br will be same. This ar and br will be same. That's why I am using set. So I didn't don't need to figure out how many number of element I have. There can be a time when a is equal to b, l is equal to r. So al, bl, ar, br are all same because a and b are same, l and r are same. So I have only one element. I can have two element. I can have four element. Okay, I will insert all the al is this. This is a, l, r, b. First is al, ar. Now bl and br. Inserting all the four. Now count. Count is the number of one. I am traversing this and count will be if my uh, count will add the value. If my v like first index row and column, I dot first either will be a or b. I dot second either will be l or r. If this value is one, v i j is one like this. This this is one. This 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 this. I, 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 any of this is one. I will increase my count. Otherwise no. Now total is done as uh, as dot size. It will be one two or four. I will go and insert into my p p dot push back dot comma uh, c and d. Total number of element or total number of uh, uh, total number of element in my current set that are related to each other count is the number of one among those element. Okay, guys. So this is how I am converting. <coughs> now I am calculating size n x as p dot size. I am creating a 2D uh, vector dp. N x is the number of element I can have, and four is the uh, second parameter because the remainder with four, zero, one, two, or three, so four. And I am initializing with minus one. Then I am calling this. 0 is my current index, 0 is the previous remainder, I am at the starting, so I will have 0 remainder, nx is number of element, p is my array, dp is my this particular array. Now, this is my base case, if I have exceed all the element, I have traversed all, okay, I, this is my remainder, this is my n here, I am not using nx here, okay, for simplicity only. If my current greater than equal to n, it means I have exceeded the limit, so I have two cases, if I still have some remainder left, it means my uh, the count of uh, one is not divisible by four that's why i have some remainder so i need to return one in nine means this is not a possible case so i will return a very big value that is one in nine otherwise i will return zero means my remainder is zero i have exceeded all the element i don't need any more operation now just return zero i have at full state i have satisfied myself i don't need any more operation now Again, the next case, if current element, if this current comma rem, I have already traversed, I have already calculated, it means its value is not equal to minus one, I will simply uh, return its value. Now, what I will do, I will calculate, what I will calculate, these two value, first, second, this is value, when I am converting all of them to one, how, see, a minus b, p car zero will be a, a i comma b i will be the pair, a, minus bi i told you a minus bi will be the value number of element i have minus uh, number of element i need to make one this is the number of element i already have that are one so number of uh, remaining element will be this i need to convert these element into one now plus next index remainder will be changed to all the uh, uh, ais this p car zero is basically ai so remainder is the uh, ram is the previous number of four i have this much new number of 4 I will add. So modulo with 4 will be the new remainder. And PDP will be same. Now, I, uh, second step, this particular is 4. When I am converting all of them to 0. Now P car 1. P car 1 is the count of 1 I have. So I will convert all of them to 0. Means I need to change this particular number. Means all BIs. Now plus solve. Next index. Rem uh, remainder will remain same. I am not adding anyone. So it will be n p comma dp as it is. Okay, this is the AC solution. I hope you all understand this. If you have any doubt, you can just comment out. I will try my best to explain you. Please subscribe the channel, like the video, and check out my channel for more of these type of videos. Thank you for watching this, guys. Stay tuned. And one more thing, I will gonna make uh, the video for for solution as well. Okay, you can check out this on my channel as well. This I taken to mark node as well. Okay, you can check out this as well. Okay, guys. Thank you.